Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect. Today's beverages. A very nice lemon and lime soda. So welcome back to the game and in the previous episode we made this slum type area here which I think because of that and as part of the retaliation there's no riots. Let's just unpause it and see if we can deal with this one. Guard responds over here and interestingly there's actually... The, this has been taken over. The, the, the two, there's two inmates here, uh, Dallas and Beckwith, who've taken over the main section of the church. We could call in some riot police, and I think I will do that as well as some paramedics. I think it would be prudent of us to do so because, well, oh, quite frankly, there is some people getting killed, including uh, Tom Balthazar. Let's go ahead and we'll grab these guys. We're going to tell them to go to there. Going to grab these guys, which it didn't select, and tell them to go to there. The sort of right in and around the uh, well where is it it is in the school technically 42 prisoners are writing I do think perhaps it is because of this massive clothing need obviously the safety and exercise and other such things but yeah we had that uh, big storm which meant the prisoners couldn't look after the needs uh, good grief yeah we'll initiate some more guard response here we don't have any armed guards we don't have any snipers that are close to the center so I'm not I'm not worried that there's going to be a problem there, however, as you can see, there's inmates who've grabbed, well, they've grabbed all manner of things. They've got a stun button over there, they've got key cards, we've got, yeah, even more key cards, more batons. It looks like that has been dealt with. Let me just charge these guys in here. I'm going to charge them in the back, actually. We'll take them probably that way. Still 29 prisoners rioting, and some of them are making a run for it, I think. Paul Stevenson, yeah, there we go. Uh, down to 26 now. We, where is our main right police? We've got the paramedics hanging around, so we'll get those guys in. Um, those can heal where they need to. And it looks like the... Yeah, it looks like indeed the right police are taking care of business there. Obviously, we've got prisoners here with the keys and other such things and we're certainly going to get a lot of prisoners who are going to be <laughs> sent to solitary but I think that is the riot dealt with so we're going to get rid of the riot police we're going to keep the paramedics on call for now I can see they are climbing fences actually and healing people but we'll bring them in here select all of those <laughs> gonna have to walk around now and yet yeah, they are indeed healing maybe bring one over there to heal that guy and that's pretty much it so yes, suboptimal to say the least, however, oh, uh, actually there's still a riot going on here, of all places. I think it's just the general heat of the prison. Well, not the actual heat, it's minus two. But uh, yeah, we... Are the guard responses not coming into play? I don't think so. Are we going to have to get a riot police just for these guys? Well, we might have to. Let's go for riot police and we'll bring them in. Select those guys and deal with that. While they're, while they're on site, while we still have them on staff, we're going to... Uh, yeah. They're not dealing with that guy. Balthazar, over there. Come on. Come on, guys. No? Going to give up? No. Right, finally. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's that dealt with. So, we can safely assume that, that is now sorted. Danger level, however, it says... Prisoner being unnecessarily searched, uh, riot police on site, people being killed recently, prisoners have serious complaints, shackled in the cells or in solitary. Well, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's um, all fair play, I guess. But anyway, um, going back over here, when we were obviously building, and that was the main focus, we've built this uh, slum area, which is a bit different, and I don't know if it's controversial, but certainly has been... A, I, can, I, can, I can see... Maybe why people would be not too much of a fan of it, but it's, you know, it's one thing that we've included that is different, so, yeah. And, well, does it take us over that 100, uh, 200 level? It actually does not. It's 196. We'd actually need more in this area, and I don't know if we can actually do that. I'm mainly focused today on, hopefully, getting this danger level down, and... Yes, people are now looking after their needs. Hygiene, exercise, family. There's definitely some critical warmth needs there. And I do think it is genuinely because of this. And if that is the case, what can I possibly do? Well, there's... I mean, we could put all the radiators in. That is indeed possible. However, plumbing that in is going to be a bit of a nightmare. But everything's 
heading in the right direction now in terms of the needs. I think it's just been a combination of storms and other things, and obviously we do have a a clothing need as well. And, oh, actually, I think we've done one of the grants. Uh, yes, indeed, one of the grants has been completed. So I'm going to pick up cell block D, and is it possible for me to get maybe some more housing in here? It probably is... I'd need another four. Let's go to quick build custom and cloning. And we're cloning this little one. And if we were to sort of put it on... Like we could sort of put things next to one another. It would work. We could get one there. We could get one in there, which would actually block this off around that corner. I actually don't mind that. I like, in fact, some, in some ways, I like the idea that it's just not designed in any efficient way. Um, yeah, like most of my designs. Uh, maybe one in there, and then one in there. Right. Some of these lights will be removed, which is a bit of a shame, but you know, that is what it is. Uh, it is what it is, should I say? And we'll let them crack on with that. So, we discussed in the previous episode this area here where we're going to have this mall type thing, and I still think that's what we're going to do. Probably just two big shops, just really get a massive shop, or indeed another mail room, a really big mail room on the other side. That could be like a bookstore, or a library would be. We could have a library, we could have a, a big shop. I think one of them is just going to be a big, big shop, which is going to be, say, this one here. Um, and then maybe this is our laundrette type uh, laundry area this area as i mentioned could be a like a big shop and then maybe even this one is a like a big bookstore which will end up as like a library we do have a library in here and we do have a mail room we don't have a post office but i think this is adequate for what what we're doing but anyway, let's just uh, search this mysterious crate. It is a boombox. We will then sell that object. We have circular saws. We have bamboo serving tables. I'll sell that object there. The main one is the laundry. Look at that. The danger level is high. There are serious complaints. Exercise and family needs. Those can be looked after by these areas. Mm. Hygiene. There isn't, like, a common shower area. I guess we could, if we wanted to, have another little gym, similar to this, but put it on the back of the mall here. That is possible. I think it's something we'll focus on sooner rather uh, later on. Oh, a lot of these are now getting uh, broken down. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Well, I think the... Flooring we'll also put in as well. So it was concrete moss. Oh, actually, I think the concrete moss is actually in for the most part. Yeah, okay. Um, over to deployment and patrols and blue patrol. And, oh, there's been another death. Let me just check that out first. I'm just going to put this patrol in. And for this one, I want dog handler and dog handler. And, ah, so... Simon Venny has tried to escape, killed by a sniper with a rifle. Now, previously, we set it so it wasn't free fire. And it didn't work. They just escaped. They just ran out. Um, are we getting this issue because of the storm? It was, pro it was possible. Sleep needs fulfilled. Some hygiene, some exercise, family. That clothing is... Yeah... It's a thing. I think also prisoners are... Whoa. Definitely smashing that place up. Legendary prisoner, Aston Jackson. Right, let me share some guard response there. Let's take this time to go through the security menu. Only one vulnerable. What about dangerous, though? There's Jackson. Remove prisoner, yes. We'll get rid of him. I don't know if we've got anyone else that's legendary. I'm not seeing it. I'm going to have a quick look around, but I'm not really seeing it. Okay. And now danger level is heading in the right direction. So, <laughs> I've ordered in these extra beds. And ironically, some of it has... 
reduce the amount of prisoners that we can have because it's made some of these not legitimate. I'm also seeing jail doors here. And people smashing this up. This is Haskell. Extremely strong and volatile, I think. Just volatile, not extremely. Dog cat dogs coming in. Who is that? That's Wyatt with the handler call. And Hot with Shaggy the dog handler. It's being dealt with. All right. No guard response necessary. So danger is now medium. Staff morale is high, which is good. We are going to receive some. We're going to receive some more emotes shortly. Money. I think we're still in the negative, but because of the grants and because of just some of what we do, is that person trying to escape? Uh, they are misbehaving. It says they're sitting. That's not misbehaving. They're just going to see a film. Ah, uh, they do have something on them, though. Ah, uh, nice pair of shears there. Al. I don't know, why do you recognise that name? Alistair Lindsay. Are they the sound design guy? And I'm also seeing Ward there. Search prisoner. I'm fairly confident they had a rope on them. And... Number one officer. Fairly confident they had something on them. Yep, there you go. <laughs> All right. How are we doing down here? Still waiting for something. And why is the water not being connected for all of this? Ah, oh, yes. Aston Finley, who has, yeah, left this area. The problem with the designations is that the deployment we haven't set to a particular one. We've got this as protective custody, and this is staff only, but they can be brought out through and then attend any of these... Uh, attend any of the programs or go to any of these buildings. The only way we can do it is by setting it to min up to supermax or custom, which we've seen what custom did before. It was sadly uh, a bit of a disaster. It just didn't work. But there you are. Apparently the inmates have been riled up because of radios. We don't have extra radios. So obviously I've told the workers to crack on and build this. It's taken them at least a couple of in-game days to not do it. And I don't know why. I'm seeing workers walk past it. And let's check out uh, jobs. Install pipes. Install hot insulation kit. The job list is monumental. Look at this. <laughs> it just keeps going. Most of it is the, the farming bit. So I'm not too concerned about that one. Let's uh, get water. Like that and that. And that. These will have to be ran in as well. And that'll take us with that one, and this one that been built properly, that'll take us up to the 200 amount, I think. And then construction on the mall begins. Not really a big mall. Building brick. I might put another gym on the back. Haven't yet decided. We shall see. And now danger level is getting to medium and still decreasing. This is good. Are we on... How are we on 19... Well, How are we on 199? Is it because of that? Yes, they've yet to install that bit. As soon as they put that bit in, job done. But... Is it not going in? Nope. Hasn't been put in. Okay, I'll prioritise that. That should give us the 200 grand. Don't think we'll see 300 prisoners, but I don't know. The issue we have now is supply. We all the supplies come in here, but there's no reason why we can't dock, we can't have another dock over here and bring 
bring in some supplies. I think it's probably time to do that. Okay, Doc. Boat Doc. I'm going to put it there. Because we're going to have storage. Around this area. And then fence grass. Uh, I'll have to put some more flooring in. Like that. And fence grass across here. I think. Like that. Put it in there. Put it down there. Staff dock can go on that. I don't think it'll really matter. But we'll see. Obviously, they've got a lot more other things prioritised. There's the 200. So is that that grant done? It is. Excellent. I picked up tool cleanup. I don't expect ever to do it. We might have to sack that off. Prisoners passed the three strikes program. <laughs> For some reason, that's also a bit of a no-go. I'm not too sure why. Three strikes program, five finish, zero passed, and more people are interested. But it's, it's getting used. Yeah. Let me prioritise the building of this dock and a tunnel, a tunnel. That could be legit. Search toilets. Oh, that is legitimate, 100%. Every time someone goes past it. Apparently not. Dismantle toilet. We know that it's legitimate. And it can only come from there. Technically it can come from there, but it's going to go along and round and such. But yeah. There's the slum area. There's that toilet in. Yeah. Uh, tunnel found. Yeah, that's fine. Put, the t put that back on and prioritise it. How are we doing down here? Looks like most of it's in. Walls and doors, fence, grass. And this is just going to be for supplies, you understand? That's all it's going to be for. How is this place going? Oh, it's actually going quite well, the mall. It's sort of nestled in near this bit. I know there's a couple of people questioning the hedge. So the narrative was basically, imagine this was like a derelict building, people are squatting in or whatever they're doing, and then you've got the school here that the, the school body doesn't want like that to be visible, so they're putting this hedge row, but then don't actually address this. That was the that was the original narrative. Uh, right, so we got this boat dock in, and well, oh, we can't set that staff only. Doesn't really matter. But let's go ahead and go to logistics and deliveries. So this place, deliveries. Uh, is that not it there? Can I just connect it like that? And there's another tunnel there. Could be legitimate. It's... Not set up. There's your transport. I don't want any of that. I want inbound deliveries and outbound items. That's what we want on this one. That's all we want. And, well... What do we have to set it to? Let me just deal with this first. What's going on here? Is that a worker being killed? By, I'm guessing, Duncan Hawkins, who is strong. Looks like this guy is running in and going to taser them. Yeah. Ironically, the doctors are not as good as uh, the workers with a medipack. <laughs> the medipack guys can bring people back to life. I don't think the doctors can. Anyway, uh, how are we doing here? Over to the logistics, and let's connect it up. So, there are no delivery area linked to it. So, what we'll do is have deliveries. Set the deliveries like so. 
storage. This is going to be our, like, storage compound, essentially. All of this. Like so. And then... We'll set up deliveries, which is there. I don't want that one. I don't want that one set. That one should be correct. Not that one. Don't want that. Don't store stuff there. That one can store stuff there. Fine. That one can store stuff there. Good. Okay. So that means hopefully stuff will be brought in there. Right. In the mall. So, in the mall we've got this brick wall around the outside. On the internal walls I think we'll make it a bit different. And we're going to use this green wall classy. Because we can. And that's the end of that chat. So I think these are just going to be two big buildings. That's what I like the idea of. I don't know what this bottom one's going to be, by the way. I haven't yet decided. Tunnels. Oh, yeah, that's legitimate. <laughs> uh, tunnel search. It's nowhere near an edge, so I'm not concerned about that there. So this is our, like, mall type thing. We've, we've actually found the tunnel. There it is. That's quite rare. Normally they don't find it on a tunnel search. But looks like they have. Oh, Sean Smith murdered by a prisoner. And they're also after that dog handler, Paul Eaton. Yes, they have a safety and hygiene need. <laughs> They've also just been boxed a bit. <laughs> this could be a little shower, actually, couldn't it? Like a communal shower. Don't see why not. Doors-wise, we do need a staff. Do we need standard doors? Doors, 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 doors. And on that side as well. And laundry. So the laundry is going to be almost like a dry cleaning service type of thing. So this is like the laundrette type of stuff or... Yeah, your laundromat. You go in, you deal with it yourself. This one, not so much. What we'll have is a wall. Uh, do we need a wall or will a desk suffice? I think a desk would be fine, although the shop front might look quite pretty. So let's do that. So over to walls and doors and um, to this classy... Uh, oh, no, we can't put it in because it's, it's an odd size. Okay, that's a shame, but I'll tell you what we can do then. We can go down and we can use some of these bits, these wall panels. I'm going to use the the blue wall panel and then it's going to be this one, is it? That one and that one, yes. Then behind that, we've got the person who is staffing it on a chair. And then in the back... We're going to have, like, the laundry machines. I like the idea of running them... Uh, I'll run them at the back like that. We can put more in if necessary. And tables will go in. So we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six. More tunnels. Yeah, that could be legitimate, that one. And realistically, is it going to be this one or this one? Search toilets. Search toilets. Let's see. Let's see what the other patrol does. They're not found it. They're saying there's one there. Uh, is that radio horse being fired? They're saying there's one there, but we've literally just looked around here, haven't we? Search toilets. Okay. Richard has now taken someone out. Tough and deadly. Do I just need more free time? Needs is not bad, and it's only medium level of danger. I've added in more free time. Work lock up in the middle. I'm going to change to free time and see if that affects the prison in a positive way. I don't think it will, because it's going to alter the the, ra the rating. So, if we look at the 
reform. We're actually on 37%. It's not great, but it's not absolutely disgusting either. But yeah, anyway, let's um, put some lighting in here. And no, maybe that one, that one, and that one. And a couple of bits of lightning in here. Some lightning in here as well. And see, I don't think these are equidistant, but I'm not too concerned. And something like that. Anyway, so we'll, we'll get the laundry in. We'll see if that, what I've done with the uh, schedule, is going to affect things. I might actually remove some of these. I've just realized that we don't really need the, the tables in that size. We'll put them down the bottom here. And we'll also put in tables small. Uh, no, you probably want chairs there. If this was like a come in and wait for your stuff to be done or you're picking it up. And I think it's going to be a an issue with maybe ironing boards. We just put loads of ironing boards in. Can we like do... From here, put one in the middle there, and then from that, we can just do this. Let's see if that does anything. They're cracking on with that. Foreman's calling, extra supplies, what a surprise! And why is the people just hanging around in my storage? <laughs> How curious. Okay, so electrical cable, we will run in. And up, and obviously into these rooms, like so. Water. Oh, Adam Young, seriously injured. They have a need for exercise and luxuries. Of all the needs, exercise, family, are the ones, oh, and hygiene, I guess, seem to be a bit of a problem. And I don't know why, because there's loads of provision for showers and well up there there is, and each all of these have got showers in. I'm not too sure. It might just be because of the quirkiness of the design. Over to water and we'll run in the water pipe like that. And well we just need the laundry baskets in here and it's actually legitimate. Right, that's enough laundry baskets for them. <laughs> I would hope. Down the bottom here, then. It's going to be a shower. I must confess, I'm not too sure what sort of... What we have as a, a reason for this being a shower. I'm really not too sure. But, well... We're gonna we're gonna try it nonetheless. Sometimes it's just we just have to be practical about things and say, look, we just need a shower, let's just let's just do it. We don't need maybe necessarily a reason for it being a shower. It just is a shower. Right. Mm, drains as well. Drain. I'm just gonna cover the whole thing in drain. Bit different. Don't know if it's good different or bad different. If it's bad different, I can come back and change it. And there's all of the flooring in there. And in the main bit here, it would be nice to have like a green flooring. I don't think uh, limestone <laughs> would be, I don't know. Am I just uh, placing stuff because it's different now or do I think it's actually gonna look good? Well, I'm going to place it, and we'll see what happens. It might be good, it might be not. We can always try something different and change it up. We still have decent money. We are finding chainsaws, apparently. Let's see if we can assign people to this. Yes, we can. Prison labour. And there we go. 25 jobs we can have there. <laughs> we haven't got a water boiler. I will put one in just in this laundry here. It won't really matter where it goes. It should just work. It's currently spring and overcast. And this is still... It's still alright. It still works. I do have a feeling it uh, 
may have to be changed at some point. Logistics error and free stuff, always good. Although, you can see, this is sort of getting a bit full. At least stuff's been delivered here. I hope stuff's been delivered here and then transported to the right area. Deliveries. Delivered there and goes to that storage. And actually is then. That boat dock, we've got things set up. That's for uh, visitors and stuff, so I don't need to worry about that one. There's certainly some automation uh, and improvements we could make, but we'll have a look at that at some point. I'm not convinced this uh, overproduction is going to work. What else could we get in terms of grants? We've got tool cleanup, cell block E. I'm going to ditch over production. Fines 500. That's, yeah, acceptable. Overproduction, bakery, restaurant, prison manufacturing facility. I think we're going to pick that up. I think that's the one we'll be doing shortly. Pest control, we're going to call in one person. How is the building of this? Well, it ain't. They're just taking all the time in the world, which apparently they have. If we go for programs, is some of this an issue? No, actually. They're all okay. Because it was work-free time and I changed it up, so it seems to be okay. Guard taser, we can stop. Electrician training, we got people in the queue and fire safety and call control, we can stop. Guess we can keep that on, like that. Wow, it is taking some time to do this. My question is, is the needs... Uh, clothing need does seem to be going down. Only 63, desperately, uh, on that list. But obviously we do need to get all of this connected up and whatnot. The workers are doing their best. Oh, well, actually, I don't mind that green flooring. A bit old-fashioned, but it... It does seem to work. Let's put that bit of work in there. I think there's someone leaving the psychologist's office going to uh, probably the behavioural therapy. I wonder where these prisoners are being assigned to eat. I'm hoping it's here. Let's check that out actually. Yes, food distribution. So all of these prisoners, or some of them actually, not all, the majority, are going here. Demand is 53. Supply is going up. There we go. Prisoners are eating in the dark. <laughs> okay. What we'll do is we'll get some solar lights in. I'm going to place some solar lights at the end of every one of these. Like that. I haven't prioritised it, so hopefully the workers are going to crack on and build this stuff. <laughs> which is what we're needing. We're going to also go for water and a water boiler. Although, I'll have to jump out with that mode because I want to see where I can actually place it. Yeah, water boiler can go in here. Radiators I haven't placed, but I don't need to place one in there. I probably don't need to place one in here. But I will put one there and there. Obviously, this one, we haven't uh, got any hot water in. Actually, there's hot water there. I probably don't need that. I could probably run the hot water right across. Let's see how far that would be. 30. I think they can run quite away, actually. The hot water pipe. I think I'm going to risk it. I'm going to run to there, then run it up, and then... I haven't yet decided on this other one. Cancel that. Connect all these in. That might work. For this area, have a radiator in. I don't know. I haven't decided. What I'd like them to do is actually connect up to the power, which we're still waiting <laughs> for. <laughs> we have a tunnel, apparently, there. No. Not buying that one, I'm afraid. No, I don't believe so. I don't believe so. But these two other rooms, we did briefly discuss them in the last episode, but I think one of them is just going to be an actual shop. 
So this is like our, hang on, over here. This is our like sort of corn shop type thing. We come in, get the basic supplies and go on. But this is going to be like the big department store type of thing. Then maybe a huge bookstore, which will be... Well, we could have it as either a... We could have it as a library. That's the obvious choice. The other option is we could have it as a bakery, but I, I like the idea of that being separate. But it would make sense having a bakery and a restaurant in here, wouldn't it? Hmm. Maybe we do that, but have the bakery and thing around here and we connect it to the back of the mall. Oh, that, that's, that's getting some creative juices flowing. That's a potential thing. Yeah. Hmm. I'll have a think about that one. Let me know what you think on that as well. How are we doing for water? Still awaiting connections. And... Basically, it's going to be like that as well. There's just so much pipe work to place. <laughs> yeah. And I think it's just the distance. Laundry baskets are unable to be unloaded. Yeah, look at that. They've loaded they've load, uh, load the back up. It's just this. For some reason, they're not prioritizing this, and that is really annoying. Come on, guys. Get on top of it. Once the power's in, they can turn the laundry machines on. Power's in. There you go. That's better, isn't it, when you can switch things on? Hey, it's actually working. Right, good. So, that'll hopefully uh, fix things. Danger level is low and still going down. Staff morale is high. Clothing need is 134 now. <laughs> it's because they've come over here to, you know, utilize the, the new laundry. And it's just not being looked at. It's just how it is. It is just how it is. But yeah, one prisoner, three, uh, passing the three strikes program, still not there. I'm seeing another tunnel's there, and it's probably legitimate, that one, but I'm, like I say, I'm not really too concerned over that one. There's people working, and... Yeah, the laundry machine's getting unloaded. They're then getting fully loaded, and they're, they're working. I'm purposely not going to put any more laundry machines down because... Because why? There is a reason. Um, we're dealing with the backlog now. Once the backlog's dealt with, we might not need to place any more. We shall see. Ah, look at that. It doesn't reach there. I thought that might happen. Okay, well, water boiler is going to go in... Where was it? It was going to go there, wasn't it? And then we'll have a hot water pipe. Come down and... Connect to there. We'll then put those in and those in. We'll sell utilities, which is going to be those. And those bits. And technically that for now. We'll have to redo the actual water pipe. And... don't know why I put the radiator in there. Don't need it. I think what we'll do is have uh, radiators in there and there. Yeah, something like that. That's the tunnels I worry about. That's the ones I prioritise. <laughs> Not the other ones. The ones that they can have a full dorm get out. Yeah. And we're definitely getting to that point where we are waiting far too long for anything to happen. The place is just massive now. It is quite big and there's so many tasks for the workers to complete. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely under dismantle. Yeah, there we go. So remove the tunnels, prioritise the removal of the tunnels, and then put the toilet back in, and then prioritise that. Okay, well, we have, for the most part then, got this laundry and such up and running. It's 
taken longer than I have dared to expect, but, well, it is what it is. We do need to put in some insulation. We need to put in some more buildings in here. And, in fact, some of it isn't even connected up to that, because when I cancelled it before. But there's our new laundry. There's our shower that doesn't have any connections. Let's just prioritise that, and the workers can actually plumb it in. But, danger level is actually not terrible. I don't know whether that's just because we cleared the backlog of things, and whether or not we also obviously altered the regime, so we now have free time instead of lock-up. Actually, reoffending rate has gone the other way, so maybe that, maybe that is the right way, or maybe it's just because it's summer and people are happier. Who knows? Either way, we are going to leave it there for now. That has been a bit of prison architect. We have got the start of the mall, which has got the uh, dry cleaning. I think we're going to call dry cleaning. We've got the communal showers. We just need it, okay? <laughs> it's just we need additional showers. So I think that was the uh, the. Yeah, the compromise. We've got these two buildings, which are going to be something. I'm fairly confident a big shop and then a library. And then I like the idea of extending this out and round to like a bakery and a kitchen over here. That would be pretty good. I mean, I can put the bakery and kitchen in here and this becomes, well, maybe we just have it open up and put like a fence around here and have it open up and it's like a little... And a little, not a park, but in between. Just a nice little walkway. You can enjoy, you can enjoy the, the water there. I don't know. Let me know what you think. And as always, we'll go from there. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.